along with what we just made. What was that? The penguins. Let's move on with our paper. Magic trick. Three, two, one, go. Hey, where is it? Hey, get out of my camera! Rose. A rose. Yeah, it has the stem, but that's a different paper. I don't know when we'll find it, so here is the rose, and here's the stem, but we'll not be making that right now. We'll first be making this. It's not really a rose, it's a tulip. It does kind of look like a rose, but not having the swirls. Kind of looks like a rose. Mm. Put that away and let's get our paper. Here's our paper. Here's our paper. It's red for a rose and also for a tulip. Yeah, they're all for lip balm. I love lip balm. Yeah, I don't think the boys would really like it. Okay, anyway, let's start making the tulip, which I call it a rose. First, fold it in half. And then fold it in half again. And then unfold the first part and then fold these parts up. Imagine there's a line right here. There's a line right here, right here, right here, like that. And then you need to fold it up to match that line. Match that beautiful big line. And if you imagine that, of course you will get the tulip. It's not done yet. You can flip it over and fold behind like this. Like this. And then fold behind like that. And both sides. You can glue this. You can glue this. Yeah, I would rather be a little like that. Not so big. Not so big. These flaps can't be so big and can't be so small. Okay, there we go. And there's the tulip. Okay, it's not done yet, so these couple are not a couple yet. Okay, so guess we're moving on and this couple can't be over there with the other couples having a party. Having a big party. Look at them over there. Look at them over there. Huh. This is very sad that the this can't move a lot. It can't get the stem. So we'll just put it somewhere in the lonely place. Right over there, there, there. Okay, I'm gonna go put it. Big words. Tulip. Rose. Stem. Lip balm. So, see you on the next part, and I hope you enjoyed this one.